Good morning. This is the Board of County Commissioners Board Work <coughs> Session. It is Wednesday, April 12, 2023. It is 10.07 a.m. This session is set to go until 10.30 a.m. This is a hybrid meeting. We're at 3000 Pacific Avenue Southeast, room 110. Uh, this meeting is being live streamed on our Thurston County YouTube channel. Uh, I'm Carolina Mejia. I'm the chair of the board, uh, Vice Chair Ty Menser, uh, Commissioner Gary Edwards, and then um, is here with me in the boardroom. Uh, and today, uh, Public Works Director Jennifer Walker is uh, covering for us as the county manager. So we're going to be talking about trail connectivity program update, and we have a whole slew of a team ready to go. So we're, go we're going to go ahead and do introductions first. And then yes, um, I will say this is a follow up to previous briefings that we've had with the board. Um, the board um, allocated funding for a trail project. Um, kind of morphed into a program. And so this is how we are um, proposing to spend the funds that the board allocated. So with that, quick introductions. Uh, Karen Weiss, Assistant uh, Public Works Director, Mike Lohman, Road Operations Manager, the Parks and Trails uh, Work Unit is within Road Operations. Ed Marson, who is our uh, Parks and Trails Operations and Maintenance Manager, and then Senior Civil Engineer, Brian Meyer, who is um, part of the team working on the design. And Shannon, it looks like Shannon is with us um, uh, virtually, so Shannon Shula as well. And with that, turn it over to start the presentation. Um, so quickly to recap how we got here, Public Works has previously presented four potential projects and the board brought forward questions and sought additional information. And through briefings and work sessions, the board and Public Works arrived at two preferred projects. Those are the Yelm Rainier to Nino Trail Extension at Crowder Road and Gate Belmore Trail at Glacial Heritage. Um, Public Works is before the board today to request authorization to move forward with the design and construction of those two preferred projects. Keep going, I'll get there. Okay. <laughs> um, so the Yelm Rainier to Nino Trail Extension project would construct 0.24 miles of multi use paved trail from the current trail terminus near the Tenino train depot to Crowder Road. The engineer's estimate for this project is $352,000. The Gate Belmore Trail at Glacial Heritage would construct a central trailhead and approximately 1.6 miles of multi-use paved trail. The engineer's estimate for this project is $1,638,000. Additionally, Public Works has submitted a budget amendment requesting to leverage $500,000 of park impact fees to support this project. The park impact fees would allow Public Works to construct an additional six-tenths of a mile of trail. The, um, upon the board's approval, Public Works would finalize the design of the trail section, which is highlighted in yellow on this photo. Um, we are anticipating a call for sealed bids in July of this year, and construction would begin in September. You'll also notice the pink and blue highlights. These represent alternative alignments of the trail that were identified in the 2019 Yelm to Nino Trail Feasibility Study. On the next slide, um, the Gate Belmore Trail, with the board's approval, <clears throat> excuse me, Public Works would complete the design of this project in 2023 and we anticipate construction of this project would commence in 2024. By constructing this portion of the trail first, Public Works becomes more competitive for future grant opportunities as we continue to develop this trail corridor. The trailhead will be located um, on the next slide, please. The trailhead will be located on the left portion of the parcel that's highlighted in orange on this slide. This is a parcel that is currently owned by Thurston County Parks. The trail itself will extend from the access road to Glacial Heritage Preserve at the southerly extent to approximately Prairie Park Lane southwest 
at the northerly extent. And this covers the 1.6 miles. With that, we're available to answer any questions that you might have. Short and sweet. Short and sweet indeed. Okay, questions? Commissioner Edwards. I don't think I have any questions. Thanks. Questions, Commissioner Munson? <clears throat> been a while since we went through all these proposals so I mean to what extent are you is this just specificity regarding the decision we made back then versus something's changed or shifted or something new the board had previously asked us for more specifics on the timeline and the budget so this is simply providing that additional information and seeking your approval to move forward with these two preferred projects you said 500,000 parking pack fee to add 0 0.6 miles to which one? That would be for the Gate Belmore. So that's in addition to what we thought Correct. of before. Correct. It's a $2 million okay. program to $2.5 million. And that will be a budget amendment that comes before you for your consideration in the budget amendment process. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Um, so with the with the park impact fees, right? Like how I guess we'll see this during the budget amendment process on on the capacity of that budget and is this going to be like a yearly thing to try to subsidize the the 2 million program we set or is it going to be just kind of a, a one-time thing? We have a healthy impact park impact fee budget and are those only <clears throat> for these kind of trail projects or what is where those park impact fees used for is it for more for maintenance it can't be used for maintenance it's anything that is capacity and growth related in the county so we are if we are able to have those elements in our projects then we are able to use park impact fees and like all impact fees they have to be um, spent or obligated within 10 years of them their collection so we're being mindful of that as well um, I think that personally I think the trail connectivity program is something we would always look at as being a good opportunity to use some of our park impact fees um, because through that we're definitely always adding capacity and growth and to um, accommodate our future you know population growth so not it cannot be used for maintenance that's that's why we have yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the catch-22, right? And, and why our strategy is to add improvements to our existing facilities for capacity. Um, Mr. Edwards. And, and I guess one of the selling points is it makes us more eligible for grant applications and success, right? That's correct. Yes, sir. Um, so for the Yelm Rainier to Nino, the trail extension, you said July for RFPs, or? Is, and then um, September to begin construction? I remember yes, this. That's so our tentative schedule. Okay. okay. Um, so I guess I'll kind of go kind of with what Commissioner Menser said it before. It's kind of why the delay of going to, for the RFPs kind of in July a little bit later on we need to finish the design on that so with the board's approval our first step in that project will be to finish the design okay. and we anticipate that driving the timeline of calling for bids in oh, july to july okay that's kind of what i wanted to um and then what's the timeline on the gate belmore trail so that design would we would expect that to be completed this year and the bidding construction process in 24. Okay, so this one will go to next year. So my question is for the the cost estimate that we've set aside for for kind of this year, will that be another budget amendment to kind of roll over that money into next year? Whatever is not spent, yes. It will be capital reappropriation. So okay. there won't be board action because it's for previously approved project and so it would just be capital reappropriated into the following year so that money yes would roll over is the bottom line but um it's just an automatic rollover okay so it's not whatever's left over correct yeah and 
then will, will we be expecting, right, because now we've established this program, is there going to be more proposals coming down through the board at a, at a later date, or how is that going to work? Yes. So we're establishing um, that nexus of being able to position ourselves to also leverage the money that yeah. the board, um, if they do future allocations, that we'll be able to leverage that with uh, for grant money. And we did do future allocations, did we not? You have a million dollars a year um, okay, so projected. We set, we in the set to a million. Correct. Okay. And so then we set two million for this year because we were going to do two we projects. Did a million last year and a million this year, um, twenty-two and twenty-three. So together, those two, those million-dollar allocations combined are the two million that we're okay. talking about for Great. these projects. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And and that may be the case on an ongoing basis, right? That we may need to have two million at a time to do. The project, so it may be you know that we would move something every two years forward. Okay. We we don't we think about that. how how we've done the fish passage yes. program as well. So it's kind of just mm -hmm. kind of getting money and then. Okay, that's just it's good too. Yep. Do you mind to put the, the young one back up? The the slide that showed the actual. I'm trying to remind myself of what exactly the map was up there. And I, This one I remember, but there were like trestles and. This is the one you're referring to? Yeah, so I just want to orient myself here. I see the train depot. So the park is over to the right of that. Yeah, to the. So the trail ends basically, and then we're going to extend it like toward Bucota, essentially. Where the just a little yellow line is yeah. will be the new park that's constructed. and. Right there is Crowder Road, so it'll that's approximately a quarter mile. My eye, so what do you mean? It looks like half of that's yellow and half is white dotted. Is it all yellow? It, it is all yellow. If it's not, it's intended to be. But yeah. it's <laughs> intended to be. Yes. Everything dotted is going to be new trail. Correct. And it's going to get to that road. Is that the road where it goes off to the west and then it turns south to Bucota? That's where the alternates would come into play. So it's kind of setting the stage for the Bucota extension that we has been discussed. Yes, sir. There's already somewhat of like a goat trail there where they're already walking on it. So this was something that actually the board came forward with um, uh, and asked us to consider. I'm just curious what, like, so the road, if I'm driving, I'm driving north-ish, northwest of that dotted line. So the trail, if I'm headed toward Bucota, the trail's on the, it's on my left. And it's, what's, what does it go through? I mean, aren't there businesses and houses? So there's no, um, Bucota's to the south on this map. There's no trail there currently. The yeah. trail is through to Nino to the north. Right, but I'm saying where you're going to put a trail, the dotted line. Yes. What's it, aren't there houses along that road? There are not. It's a, it's well, the rail corridor that extends oh. there. The houses are on the left side of Park I'm Avenue. Get closer. You can see the red highlighted corridor. That's that's the trail corridor okay. there. So, so it's contained within that. So if I'm driving through Tonino, where am I driving? So your so the park is is up there on the top right. Yeah. So you're coming down, you're coming south on Park Avenue. Park West. Avenue, correct. You like end the, up, yep, there, there's the um, the rail car that Tonino has set up in the trail corridor near the train depot. And the main street of Tonino is where? It is. With, with, with it's going to be off it. the screen yes. to the top. Mm -hmm. Oh, up okay. in here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, so we're south of downtown Tonino a little yes. bit. Yeah. So Tonino. the trail's already coming. What's all these red lines? What so this on? is the old 99, and this is the main road that goes up and through to Nino. Oh, okay. Um, these are showing the parcels. So this is the park's parcel. Where's the current right. trail end? Um, about where the train depot so you don't, is You're not showing the trail. Is it this? The trail yes, it is. Yes. Okay. Yep. Exactly. Okay. 
So if you remember, this is the one where Shannon took a field trip with me down to Tanaina with um, with Mayor Fournier um, because this is he was a asking for this expansion, and then he was like, "Well, can you just put, get it to this point at least?" Um, and that's when me and Shannon went down there to actually see what point he was talking about because there was confusion on. <clears throat> the whole extension or where the actual extension was. And um, and so that's where kind of this project came from. Yeah, because the larger um, extension to Bucota, there had been no work done on that. There was right of way um, issues. issues that we need yeah. to, yeah. So this was a kind of a an middle. early win. Yeah. Okay, well, it's 1022, and so we'll be seeing, do we need a thumbs up or? Yes, please. Okay. So that'll mean we'll start design on both and move forward. Perfect. Okay. Thank you, Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. We're adjourned.